Hi everyone, Seth Enos here with Detool Software, and I'm going to show you a preview of the QuickBooks integration in our upcoming release, version 6. And in doing so, I will show you some differences between the current implementation in SI5 and what's coming in 6. Uh, so here I am inside of a project editor, and the first notable difference is that you don't have to create a sales order anymore to be able to push a project over to QuickBooks. You simply go to the QuickBooks tab within the project file and choose to create an estimate. Um, first though, I'm going to show you a few of the new settings here. So when you pull this open, uh, the first one I'm going to point out to you is the labor item format. So right now in SI5, it's this setting right here. Ex export each phase and subphase as an item. And that has been a pain point for a lot of our clients. And what that looks like, if I take you over here to uh, QuickBooks, I'm going to pull down. This is an estimate that was pushed over with that methodology for labor. And you can take a look and see that every single item is broken out as a separate line item. So, you know, inside of our software, you have, say, the rough in phase. And then there's four potential parts to that the base labor, the miscellaneous labor, the management, and the design. And each one of those will, comes over as its own part. You can still do that in six if you, if you like this method. But we gave you some flexibility. Namely, you can choose to just push export each phase as an item. So I won't see all the individual parts of, say, the rough-in phase. I'll just see one line item for rough-in, one for trim-out, one for finish, one for programming, etc. Or this one here where you can export labor as just one item. So it's just going to show one line item of labor. And that's the one I'm going to do today for you. Um, so you'll see the difference between those two estimates. And um, another nice feature that we did, too, is the, is the ability here to have up to three fields be pushed over to QuickBooks for your hierarchy of creating items. Currently in SI5, you only have two, manufacturer and model. In this version, you can have up to three fields push over, and you have four fields to choose from, manufacturer, model, category, and part number. Uh, part number in version 5 is called SKU. We've just renamed it, but it's really nice that you'll be able to push that over to QuickBooks uh, for ordering purposes. And how this looks, let me go ahead and uh, save my settings here, and I'll take you real quickly back to QuickBooks and show you the items here. If you take a look here at the list, you see I have audio sources as the category, the manufacturer, and then the models beneath that. So you'll get to uh, choose your own preference when setting up your uh, QuickBooks integration. So now to actually push this over to QuickBooks, what you'll do is uh, just choose create estimate, and you can do it for just the selected items or for all of the items in the job. And I'm going to choose all, and this is going to go ahead and open the estimates form. And here, what I'm going to do is I can either pick an existing customer and job or I'm going to create a new one. In this case, let's go ahead and create a new customer uh, for this job. And it pulls up a form here that you can go ahead and manipulate the information if you'd like to. Um, and you can see here there's additional information. There's the job information. And all of these are QuickBooks dropdowns that you can set for this. But I'll go ahead and just push it over as stock here. And you can see it created the uh, customer colon job over in QuickBooks for us. And really, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll set tax on this and export this to QuickBooks. And this is letting me know that there are some items in here that aren't assigned QuickBooks item numbers. So I'll say yes to go ahead and create those. And in this case, it looks like I'm, one item is not assigned. So I'll go ahead and mark this as a non-inventory item and uh, choose my accounts for this. So I'll go ahead and say sales of equipment. We'll call it cost of goods sold. And we'll push this over to QuickBooks. And so that item is being created right now over in QuickBooks. And once that's done, the estimate is going to be pushed over to QuickBooks. It's saving right now. And then we'll go take a look at it, and I'll show you the, uh, the difference in how the labor displays. OK, it lets me know that it's estimate number three. I'll hit OK on that. And we'll go to back to QuickBooks. Let's go home, estimates, and let's see. We'll go to the next one here, which is estimate three, and we'll go down to the bottom here. And you can see that labor came over as just one line item.